I'm Leslie from Stitches by Leslie. Welcome! Today is the first day of the 30 Days to an Organized Life Challenge. I'm so excited that you're here. I've got so much information to share with you, so there'll be just a little bit every single day for 30 days. The goal is to get you organized, to get all those things that are going on in your head down on paper, to prioritize your day, to prioritize your month and year, and to help you be successful. We all are carrying lists in our mind. We all have things to do. I don't know about you, but I am a mom and a wife. I work for corporate America. I'm a solopreneur. I have a business. I'm a daughter and a friend. I've got so much going on in my life. And I have to remember every single thing, every single day. And if you can imagine, there's birthdays and groceries and what's going on at camp next week. And hey, by the way, I've got that big deadline at work and I can't miss it. So. One of the things that I wanted to talk to you guys really quick about is, is journaling and, and how journaling is important. It's cool to take something from your, something that you hear auditory and actually write it down on paper. It helps you to commit visually what you hear um, and it helps to connect both the right and the left brain. When you start to introduce some things like creativity, doodling, drawing, um, I'm a doodler, been a doodler for a long time. I'm a list maker, I'm a journaler. I also am a painter and a color. I love to sew, um, but I'm also super detailed. Um, and being in information technology for the last 20 years, you have to be detailed. Um, from creating project plans, to looking at schematics and drafting patents, all the way through to testing software. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's an intense business. Add that social um, and creative aspect to that, um, and before you know it, I mean, things are all over the place. So with the journal, I'm able to actually connect my right brain and my left brain together by adding doodle and information at the same time. It's really cool. I'm gonna share with you over the next 30 days some famous list makers that are out there from Richard Branson to Thomas Jefferson, how they did what they did um, and how they were able to be successful by putting lists in organized places and being able to recall them and coming back to them and completing them. So I'm here to help you be prior to, to be organized as well as prioritize your day. And I'm hope, hoping that you'll have fun while, while doing it. Okay, so I've told you a little bit about me. We've talked a little bit about the program and its purpose. Um, so I wanna cover the supplies really quick. If you wanna keep things super simple, all you need are three supplies that are on that list. The journal, a pencil with a really good eraser, and a pen. If you're not creative, that's the way to go. If you wanna be creative, then we add in some of the other supplies like the markers and the washi tape. Those will help to make your pages pop and give some color and flair. I love color. I live in color every day. Um, everything that I own is color, but there are a lot of people out there that aren't um, into that and that's cool. So we're gonna do a, a hybrid approach. We're gonna show you very basic pages and as we start to build these pages, we'll add some creativity, but we'll also share with you some examples of how to be super simple, okay? Um, so I've mentioned to you earlier that I'm a product, I'm, I'm a solopreneur. I'm creating a product right now, it's called the Journal Mate. If you haven't had a chance to stop over to the shop and take a look, this is the Journal Mate. What this is, is a, a unique way to organize your life by adding um, a pocket to your book. Um, this has a Velcro enclosure where I can slide my cell phone in with my earbuds. I can even stick my checkbook in here. I can put a ruler in here. I got my pen and pencil in here. I can stick highlighters in here. Coupons and receipts go in here. It's great. It helps to keep everything together while I'm working through my busy day. Whether it's running around the office or I'm um, running to a soccer game, I've got all my stuff together and with me. It's adjustable, so it'll come off of this book and it'll go on to any other book. So say you're carrying a binder, um, maybe you want to put it on your cookbook, maybe you want to take it to you, um, take it with you to church and put it on your Bible, you certainly can do so. Um, it's got an adjustable strap, but it also acts as a pocket, so you can stick papers behind it. I carry budgets and project plans with me everywhere I go, schematics, even that flyer that you get from the camp that day that you want to think about maybe going to next summer, I'll stick that in there as well. This is a pocket, and I keep my business cards in here. But I also, when I'm at networking events, I put other people's business cards in here. So that way I keep everything together. Um, and then if you want, as you build your journal, you can stick your pages behind it, and it helps to act as a bookmark. 
It's a really a cool product. Um, it's 100% cotton, which means it's machine washable. So you can throw it in with your laundry. Um, you can hang it to dry. You can tumble dry. But you can press it with an iron, and it'll go right back to being super flat and also um, really cool. So this is from our 2017 fall line. These are my awesome colored pencils. Um, so check that out. They'll be available for sale. They're in pre-sale right now, um, but they'll be available to actually deliver in October. Um, okay, so that's the journal. Mate. The journal itself is an Echolo brand journal. You can buy it at Office Depot. It's an amazing product. Um, I love the folks over at Echolo. Not only are they awesome, but their products are great. Um, I've never had a problem with the stitching. I've never had a problem with the binding of the book. Um, it's never ripped or torn. I've never had pages fall out. It's just an awesome book, and mine takes a beating. You'll see mine as we go along the program. I'll show you actual photographs of my actual, uh, my actual journal. Um, but this journal that we build together in this workshop, I will actually raffle off at the very end of the class, and some lucky person will, will, will earn it and will, will gain it, right? All right, so um, let's start talking about working our way through the journal. So when you open up the journal, it's blank on the inside. Um, every journal is different. Every notebook is different. But we want to keep this blank. We're going we're gonna to build on this page later in the program. Um, skip this back page as well, and we're going to jump right into this main page here. I went ahead and I started off with the basic symbology that you'll find in most bullet journaling classes or um, on Pinterest. I've shared the Pinterest board with you guys on this blog, so take a look. There's lots of opportunities to take a look at other um, keys that are out there. Um, but this is the basic symbology, and we'll step through that really quickly. Um, but I do want to talk about the creative um, aspect of this page. So every page will have a header. Depending upon your artistic abilities, sometimes we'll have um, calligraphy pages, sometimes we'll put art, you can put stickers, photographs. This one I just kept it simple. I used washi tape. Um, if you're not familiar with washi tape, it's a really cool um, thin tape. I believe it's wax based. Um, this one is one that I bought um, at Office Depot. They have a huge selection of washi tape, really cool stuff. Washi tape is great because it doesn't stick to itself. It's really easy to come on and off, but it does stick well to paper. Um, and it also adds that creative um, flair. If you want to be creative, but you just don't know how, this will help you get there, at least very quickly. Every page should have a title. So as you can see here, we use the word key. Um, I wrote the word key in uppercase in, um, in a highlighter, and then I just scripted it across the front with the word key. Um, I use tool pens. Again, they are on the supply list. I love the needlepoint pens. Tool pens are great. They always write the first time, so they're not like those gel pens that you have to scribble a lot to get started. They don't smear, which is also awesome, um, and they just they last for a really long time. Another product you can buy at Office Depot, um, so check those out if you get a chance. And they come in color now, which is really cool. Okay, so basic symbology. So we'll step through this really quickly so you guys can see. Hopefully you can see the key. And I'll have a picture of this on the blog page as well, so you can reference it later. Okay, first five boxes here um, are the ones that you'll probably use the most. If not, um, this dot as well will probably be used most. Um, these denote tasks. Um, and the open one simply means it's an open task. It's ready to be worked on whenever you have an opportunity. The one that's half full means it's in progress. So maybe that's a task that's taking more than a day. Maybe it's taking a week or a month, but it's in progress. Your eyes are on it. You're doing something about it, um, but it's not quite yet complete. Whereas the one underneath of that shows a completed task. Yay, completed tasks are awesome. They should be celebrated. Completed tasks are awesome. So you can check the box, you can fill the box out, but definitely do not cross it out. We want to see these tasks. So we want to cheer these tasks. We want to celebrate these tasks. So again, a task done is something gained. Um, arrow through a box means you just push that task out. Either you push it out to another day of the week or you push it out to another month. It's not something that needs to be done right now. It's something that can be definitely done later. And then a box with a square or an X through it just simply means it's canceled. It doesn't need to be done any longer, and we're not going to carry it. Um, something with a triangle means a po uh, appointment or a place to go. So maybe you have a doctor's appointment. Maybe you have to be on set at a certain time. Um, or maybe you're going to travel. Um, this symbology can be followed. This same symbology that you used up here with your boxes can be followed with your triangle. So you can basically have one that's half full as well. You can have one that's full, X, so on and so forth. Um, 
the the dot or the bullet is for a note. Um, just simply you're taking a note. You're leaving something, you're writing something down, you're making a, a note of something. Um, the um, heart means something awesome. So just something memorable, something um, sweet that happened. Um, you're, you're, maybe your little boy brought you flowers or maybe you have a romantic evening planned. Exclamation point means important. Now some people I've seen use stars for important. That's fine too. Again, this is your symbology and over time you'll create your own. I'm just simply sharing with you the ones that I use at this point. Um, the um, Anything that's an idea has a... Um, Light bulb, I love the light bulb, it's super fun, but some people use the exclamation point in its place, so that's fine too. Anything that needs to be researched is a question mark. Um, anything with a heart and a squiggly line means exercise. Um, dollar sign, hopefully that means money's coming in, not money going out, but it denotes something with money. Maybe it's a bill due, maybe it's payday. And then anything with this little cake is either a birthday or an anniversary, some special occasion that you wanna track. Again, basic symbology, these are things that you can use to, to start, um, and then you can change them along the way, obviously. You know, again, as you start to get this down and as you start to create a, and form a habit, you'll, you'll adjust along the way in flight. I promise you, you'll make it your own. Um, so that's the key for today. So thanks for your time. I appreciate it. Tomorrow we're going to talk about, which is day two, um, we're going to talk about the index and we're going to talk about why that's important, what its purpose is in the book, and how it's going to help to keep you organized and be able to jump to stuff very quickly to recall at a later date. Well, thanks so much. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a great night.